300 hour kit, a water impeller. Some of the tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need some marine grease, maybe a razor blade and some brushes to help clean off some of that old grease. Um, paint marker, automotive paint marker, some 5 8 wrenches, and then one of these will make your life a lot easier too. Okay, so we're gonna start by removing our prop first. Just this nut here. And then we're gonna get that removed and then we've got to remove all these bolts that hold the lower unit in. There's five, two on each side and one under the bottom. Now that we've got the prop removed, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean all this old grease off of here. Get that cleaned up before we take this lower unit off. That way it's ready to be put back on as soon as we're done. All right, so I've broken all five of them loose for the sake of time in the video. First one I'm gonna remove is this back one back here. All right, so I've got all of them out except this one. That one's broken loose. I'm not gonna remove it yet because I'm gonna stand behind up under the lower unit when I take it out so that it doesn't fall. Also, I forgot there's a stud in here and that nut goes on the back of the stud and that stud comes from here. So you're gonna have to remove that too. All right, so now we've got that nut removed off of the stud and then all five of the bolts, four of them are gone. And then this one right here is loose. So when I take that out, I'm gonna be standing up under it and just in case it were to come loose. I don't wanna drop it. It's probably stuck on there though. Get that out, set it in my pocket, and then I'll start to wiggle that lower unit off of there and I'll set it on my stand. stand here or my lower unit and now I'm gonna get to start working on this so now that we're here we're gonna go ahead and take a 10 mil and remove all four of these and that's what holds your impeller right inside there all right so now that we've gotten all of our bolts out of there we're going to take and we're going to lift this up we've got to be careful as we lift it up there's a little key that sits inside of here that makes that attaches to your impeller to keep it spinning so you don't want that to fall down into your lower unit There's that little key. It just sits flush right here. There's our impeller. It's looking a little weak on some of the fins here, so it's definitely a time for a change. All right, so remember when you do remove your impeller, there's little nylon washers here. There's one and another one inside here that's gonna go on the top there. So your kit's gonna come with two new ones inside of it. It also comes with this new plate, which that plate goes right here. I'm not replacing that because I don't need to. There's nothing wrong with mine. Um, I'm just gonna take these washers out of here and replace the washers and replace the actual impeller itself. And I'll be good with that. You've also got this gasket. You get a new one in the kit. We're gonna peel this thing up and you're gonna need a razor blade and a wire brush to clean that up. So I'm just gonna take my little razor blade, and go around and pick this gasket off, try not to drop any parts inside of there.
All right, so we've got that ready to throw our new gasket on and throw everything back together. All right, now we've got everything off. We'll clean this thing up. We've got our new washers ready. Our new little plastic washers are gonna go on here. I'm gonna put our key back in. I'm gonna hold it in. I'm gonna put a little dab of grease on it to keep it held in place. Um, slide my new gasket down and then put the impeller on with lined up with that key you'll see the little keyway in this old one that little cutout is for that that key to hold it in place properly i'll take and put a little grease on my gasket so that it can be easily held in place now we're going to take our key I'm just going to dab a little grease on the back of it. Just like so. You don't want, you got to be very careful with this. You do not want to drop this inside that lower unit. Dab that on. Take our new impeller. And I'm going to put a little grease on this impeller as well. On the fins, just a little. That way, when we do go to start this thing up and it's completely dry, it's got something to spin on. And it also helps you put that cover back on. All right, we're gonna make sure we get that key through that hopper area. Hold on to this thing, try to turn it. If it doesn't turn, you know you've got your key in properly, lined up. Now you're almost back together. All right, so we've got our cover. We can't forget we're gonna put this gasket back on top here. So I'll take just a dab of grease. Just a little bit. Put it in there around so that I can set this in. Kind of keep it in place. back on top now you gotta remember that your impeller turns clockwise so when you put this on you want to turn this counterclockwise as you're pushing down hold here and just like so so that now those fins are going to be bent to turn in the clockwise direction all right now we're ready to start putting it back together we're gonna take our bolts here, and to prevent corrosion, we're gonna to to slap a little bit of grease on each one. If they're corroded already, you need to make sure that you clean them off. We're just gonna grease our bolts up, like so. And then we're gonna take and make sure we clean this up with a wire brush before we put new grease on that. All right, so this is gonna be our hardest part is when we go to put this thing back on. So, especially if you're by yourself. So what you can do is you can take your, your shifter here. And this is your shifting bar. Um, so that when you put it into forward, this turns one way or the other and reverse turns the opposite. So to put this thing on by yourself, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a paint marker and I'm gonna mark the very top of this here. And I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna put my gear into forward and I'll know which way this turns, left or right. And then I'm gonna go over to my lower unit I'm going to take and I'm going to turn this thing in line with it. So I'll put this in forward or reverse or left or right, whatever it does, clockwise, counterclockwise. 
and that's going to line it up into forward gear. This will be lined up into forward gear and I should be able to slide it on. So take and just mark the top of it right there with a little dab of paint. You can just barely see it. here put this in the forward so you can see where I marked with my paint the shifter turned clockwise if I'm looking at it from this position but if we were to think from looking down on it it would have turned counterclockwise so we're looking down on this piece. We need to turn it counterclockwise to get it to line up. Because if we were looking from the bottom, say we were looking from the bottom, the way it would turn, it would turn clockwise. I hope that's making sense. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but you'll understand once you're looking at it. All right, so we've got to take this. We're going to take a, just some, a ranch or vice grips, whatever. I'm going to grab onto it, and I'm just going to turn it. Into, turn it counterclockwise. And that should put it into forward gear. Now to confirm that you're in gear, you can see this will not turn freely. But you can take and spin your drive shaft, and it'll turn. All right, so now that we've got it in gear, we're taking grease up our splines on everything. Come down here, check this out. I'm gonna throw some grease on this stud here. I'm gonna grease up all my bolts and we're gonna put this back in place. Also, don't forget about this piece. This goes on here. That guides that shifter into and onto this thing. Don't forget that, you're gonna have to have that. All right, so now we can take our low unit, have our little improvised set up here. And since I'm in gear, I can spin it. And line up the splines. All right, so I wiggle that prop until the splines line up. Now I've got it back on properly. It's sealed, I don't have to pull it up with the bolts. All right, so I've got this stud snugged up. I'm gonna take, put the rest of my bolts back in. I'm not gonna tighten them completely yet, but you can see here, I, I did this by hand. I snugged it up to here by hand. I didn't force it on there. I didn't, It was there wasn't a quarter inch of space and then I put the bolts in and tightened it up. You can really mess stuff up doing it that way. So you wanna do, you wanna get Grease up your bolts, get them back in, and then you want to confirm that your shifter is in the right position. So if you're in forward, it'll turn forward, it clicks, and it won't turn backwards. Put it in reverse, and it'll turn in reverse, or sorry, it will lock itself up. And that's how you know you're in gear got everything lined up correctly. So take your greased bolts here and you're gonna start putting them back in. All right, so now that I've got everything hand tight, all my bolts except this one, put that on last. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up, including that stud. Get everything properly tight 
And then I'm going to take and I'll put that last piece on. And then I'll finish by cleaning my prop. Put some new grease on that spline. And we'll be good to go. All right, gonna confirm one more time. Neutral. Reverse. Forward. Back to neutral. Hang on. Make sure this dude is on the splines down there. So you should be able to pinch it. Turn your prop. The little locking tab back in. Start tightening this guy. Doesn't have to be too tight. What I'm doing here is I'm just closing those tabs with a screwdriver so that it's locked. All secured, and you are done.